Change would be applied to crime fighting, Public Security Minister Kamrad Ramjatan told the House on Wednesday night when he debated the 2015 budget. He told the House that the security sector is facing many challenges. One is the crime rate. Ramjatan told the House that the police had indicated that there was a spike in crime earlier this year. But the impression disingenuously again being given by the opposition is that as soon as this govern coalition government came into office, we are the ones that started this high crime rate. I want you, because I have asked the Commissioner of Police to give me the 2012, sorry, the 2014 and 2015 crime rates in the graph. Indeed, it is still higher than last year, but this is 359 as against 325, and it was growing since February. Long before we come into government. Ramjatan said that to fight crime, the government has to now boost the morale of the Guyana police force. He explained that after meeting with the police hierarchy, he found that there were some limitations to their crime-fighting abilities. There must be a better police force. There is no doubt about that. And better administration of that police force to the extent that policemen must not be demoralized. And there was evidence of a demoralization of that force for a number of years by a number of programs and practices of certain leadership at the political level too. The public security minister listed several officers whom he said were not allowed to go on several overseas training, the end result being crime flourished. The minister said that there is a five-point plan to enhance police administration to fight crime and identify areas with a high incidence of crime to provide a targeted approach. The police would need the resources. We also have to have lots more assets for the police force and increasing use for transportation, especially boats, motor vehicles, ATVs, bicycles. And also we are talking about police communication equipment. We are going to have $125 million for the next four months to buy a lot of more arms and ammunition, fingerprint and ballistic photographic equipment, and another $193 million to deal with vehicles, trucks, motorcycles, and outboard engines. For Prime News, Nazima Ragabir.